In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new interactive reports in TraderView. To get started, I'm looking at the trades view and the only filter I have turned on is for intraday trades only. If we scroll down, we can see I have about 2200 trades that match this filter. We're going to click on reports, then we're going to click on the detailed tab. Now what I really want to do is look into my trading on the open. So I'm going to click on the days and times group in the detailed reports. And you can see in the 9 o'clock hour, from 9 o'clock to 10 is where I'm making more trades than any other time. I'm going to click on the 9 o'clock bar on this chart, and I'll get a message about how the global trade filter is going to change to show only these trades. I'll click OK, and then I'll see my list of trades that were open in the 9 o'clock hour. I can see a message up in the filter bar to that effect, and if I look at the bottom, I can see I'm down to 588 trades that match this filter, down from the original 2200. Let's click on the Reports view again, and we'll go back to the Detailed tab. And we're looking at trades that were opened in the 9 o'clock hour, and the thing that jumps out at me is what's happening on Mondays. You can see I'm making fewer trades on Mondays than each of the other days, but the performance I'm seeing on Mondays is quite a bit better than all of the other days. Let's click on that bar and see what we can learn. Now we see a list of our trades open on Mondays during the 9 o'clock hour, and if we look down at the bottom, we can see we're down to 113 trades. Let's go back to Reports and click the Detailed tab again. Now the Days and Times group is much less interesting now because we've filtered on two of these dimensions, so let's look at some of the other groups. If we look at Market Behavior, well, we don't really learn a lot here other than it looks like I'm doing fairly well for these particular trades no matter what the market is doing. But let's click on the liquidity group. Looking at the entry shares adding liquidity charts, I could see my best P&L performance was when I was not adding liquidity when entering trades. So I was paying the offer or I was hitting the bids to enter my trades. But looking over at the distribution, I can also see this was the majority of the trades I made. So it's hard to tell if the P&L line is as significant as we thought. To figure this out, let's switch the reports to per trade average rather than aggregate P&L. Now we can see that the average trade where I'm not adding liquidity is performing much better than the other trades. So what have we learned? On Monday mornings on the open, I've generally been trading fairly aggressively, paying the offers and hitting the bids to enter positions, and that strategy has been working well. More generally, TraderView's interactive reports let you drill down into your trades and understand them at a very deep level. Give it a try on your own data and see what you can learn.